Good morning, church. Good morning, church. Let's try that again. Good morning, New Direction. Let's give the Lord a hand praise this morning. Trying to fight through all these problems and situations throughout the week. And like so many of you, uh, I know I'm old, but I was scrolling through the TikToks. Y'all call them the TikToks. And a young man was on there speaking about problems and worries. And he drew my attention. And he was speaking on them problems. He says, matter of fact, let me ask you. Let me take a poll real quick. How many of y'all had problems this week? If you had problems this week, put your hands together if you had any kind of problems. But let me tell you about them problems, though. Those problems are really blessings. Let me show you what I mean. What if, let's just say hypothetically speaking, what if the Lord said, I'm tired of hearing about your problems. Throw all your problems down and leave them there. Then he turns around and tells you, now pick all them problems up. And somebody else picked up your problem. And you got theirs. It makes a difference because somebody somewhere in this world has a way worse than what you have. Amen. You can throw your problems down and when he tells you to pick them up, somebody else pick up your problems that may become blessings to them and you get their problems and you have to fight like the devil to get out of that problem or that situation. Amen. Well, if you've had problems all week, you are in the right place. You are at the hospital where problems are healed. Answers are solved. Today, if I can get you all to stand, I'll be coming to you from Psalms 103. Problems. I tell you some problems. They're going to always be there, y'all. But so will the Savior. Psalms 103 reads, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgiveth all thy iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases, who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with love and kindness and tender mercies. I read to you 103. We already know that the word is blessed. Allow us to be hearers, most importantly, doers of his righteous word. Dear Heavenly Father, as only we know how, Father God, we spill out our hearts unto you today, Lord. We bow our heads and we open up this place. We ask you to clean up and cleanse up what is not of you, Father. Allow us to deal with the problems of everyday living, Father God but only the way you would deal with them, Father. We lay them problems at your feet, Father, asking that you pick them problems up and send them back to the pits of hell from which they come. We ask you, Lord, is to bless our children, continue to lift them up, continue to encourage them to keep on in your way, in your will. We ask you, Lord, is to touch the city. Touch the city all around, Father God. For the enemy is running rapid through this city, through this world. Father God, bless this city and all its leaders, Father God. Allow them to turn towards you, Father. Allow them to see that your glory and your way is the only way, the way of righteousness. Touch the heads of the states, Father, our president, and all that are running for office. Allow those places to be blessed. With your anointing, Father. Yeah, they can hold those positions. But you shall hold all the power. Therefore, you will get all the glory. And all the honor that is due. We ask you, Lord, as to touch our pastor today. Touch his family, his beautiful family, Lord. Bless them. Keep on keeping on in their lives, Father. Allow the first lady to keep pastor's arms lifted up. For you said, Lord. If you be lifted up, all men should be drawn unto you. 
Father God, I give him the strength today to deliver the message that you have for your children. I let your word to, to rest on his, in his mind and on his tongue, but when he's speaking, it's all about you, Father, and not about anything more important than that. just that. Father, we want you to hear this plea. We lay this love letter at your feet. We ask you to bless it, not one time, not ten times, but a hundred times four. In the mighty name of Jesus, let the church say amen, amen, and praise God. Praise the Lord, everybody, yeah. Everybody clap your hands, yeah. Hey, he's worthy, he's worthy, he's worthy. That's what he said he would do. Anybody believe that? He's going to fulfill every promise to you. Yeah. Don't give up on God. Because he won't give up on you. You say, come on, everybody, make some noise, everybody. Yeah. Say it again. Say, he's able. He's able. Yes, he is. Yeah. Say he's able, 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 he's
He's able. He's able. He's able. He's able. He's able. He's able. Now everybody make some noise in the room. Hey. I dare you get something on your lips right there. If God has done anything for anybody in the room, open up your mouth and say, He's able. He's able. He's able. He's able. I know He is. He's able. I know He is. He's able. He's able. Yes, He is. He's able. He's able. He's able. He's able. Say, Yes, He is. 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 He's your healer. Yes, He is. Your deliverer. Yes, He is. Your sustainer. Yes, He is. Your provider. Yes, He is. He'll pick you up. Yes, He is. Turn you around. Yes, He is. Place your feet. Yes, He is. On solid ground. Yes, He is. Keep on trusting. Yes, He is. He's the way. Yes, He is. The truth and the life. Yes, He is. Hey, everybody clap your hands. Oh, 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 he's able. When well, you're very willing, ready now. Oh, 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 he's able. Everybody say, oh, 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 he's able. Bill stacked up on your table. Oh, 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 oh he's able. You got a bad report from the doctor. Oh, hey. I'm a living a witness that he'll step in. He's able. He's able. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. I know he is. He's able. He's able. He's able. Say yeah. 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 Yeah yeah yeah, 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 oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, 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 Is there anybody in the room that can testify that God is able? He's able, he's able, he's able, he's able, he's able, he's able. He's able, he's able, he's able, he's able, he's able. He's able, he's able, he's able, he's able, he's able. Hey! He's able, he's able, he's able, he's able, he's able, he's able. Praise him, can you do that? Yeah. Say it with me. He's able, he's able, he's able, he's able, he's able. Yes, he is. Say it again. He's able, he's able, he's able, he's able, he's able. Anybody, anybody, open up your mouth and say. He's able, he's able, he's able, he's able, he's able. He's able, he's able, he's able, he's able, he's able. Yeah. Pastor Brown, watch me, go to the floor. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, he's undefeated. Yeah. He's undefeated. He's undefeated. He's under my feet. Yeah. The devil is under my feet. He's undefeated. He's undefeated. The devil is under my feet. Under my feet, hey, God's undefeated. 
God's undefeated, the devil is under my feet. He's under my feet. Hey, God's undefeated. He's undefeated. The devil is under my feet. Yeah, he's under my feet. Hey, God's undefeated. God's undefeated. The devil is under my feet. Y'all got to say he's under, under my feet. Hey, God's undefeated. He's undefeated. The devil is under my feet. You can declare that today, say, under my feet. Listen, depression, you got to go. You ain't got no power here no more. The devil is under my feet. Yeah, yeah. He's under my bed. Under my Woo! feet. Yeah. Depression, you got to go. You can't live in my world no more. The devil is under, under my feet. I thank yeah. Jesus. Under my feet. Break the music. Listen. Depression, you got to go. You can't live in my world no more. The devil is under my feet. I dare you declare that in your life, say. Under my feet. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Low self-esteem, you got to flee. With Jesus Christ, I've got victory. The devil is under my feet. He's under my feet. Under my feet. He's under my feet. Hey. Under my feet. He's under my feet. Under my feet. He's under my feet. Yeah. Under my feet. He's under my feet. Under my feet. Watch this. Watch this. I'm gonna step on the devil's head. Hey, I'm gonna step on the devil's head. You said I'm gonna step on the devil's head. I'm gonna step on. Step on the devil's head. I'm gonna step on. Step on the devil's head. I'm gonna step on. Step on the devil's head. The devil is under my feet. He's under my feet. Under my feet. Step on the devil's head. 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 We got victory. Step on the devil's head. We got victory. Step on the devil's head. Gonna step on the devil's head. Step on the devil's head. Gonna step on the devil's head. Step on the devil's head. I'm gonna step on the devil's head. Step on the devil's head. The devil is under my feet. He's under my feet. Under my feet. He's under my feet. Under my feet. He's under my feet. Under my feet. He's under my feet, say. Under my feet. He's under my feet. Under my feet. He's under my feet. Under my feet. I'm gonna look to the hill. Under my feet. From which comes my help. Under my feet. All of my head. Under my feet. All of my head. Under my feet. He's under my feet. Under my feet. Depression, you got to go. You can't live in my world no more. The devil is under my feet. Under my feet. Depression, you got to go. You can't live in my world no more. The devil is under my feet. I dare you get that in your spirit. Under my feet. Break the music. Depression, you got to go. You can't live in my world no more. Help me say he's under my feet. I tell you, get it under my feet. Under my feet. One more time. Depression, depression, you got to go. I can't live in this world no more. The devil is under my feet. Under my feet. Under my feet. Under my feet. Under my feet, under my feet, under my feet. And then you get something on your lips and say, Under my feet, come on and worship his name. Under my feet, he's under my feet. Under my feet. Somebody felt like they wasn't gonna make it today. Under my feet. But look at you today, look at you today. Under my feet. That's a clear in 
indication that the devil is under my feet. That's a clear indication that the devil is under my feet. Under he's under he's under under my feet. He's under my feet. Under my feet. He's under my feet. Under my feet. He's under my feet. Under my feet. Oh. Under my feet. He's under my feet. Under my feet. God, we need you right now. Under my feet. We need you right now. Under my feet. He's under. He's under my feet. Under my feet. The devil is under my feet. Under my feet. Yeah. Under my feet. Listen. I have no reason to fear. Mm -hmm. yeah. Devil, you're not welcome here. Mm -hmm. The devil is under my feet. Woo! Yeah. Under my feet. Yeah. I ain't got no reason to fear. Mm -hmm. Devil, you're not welcome here. The devil is under my feet. All the weapons gonna fall. But feet. I can guarantee you it won't work. Yeah. When that co-worker make you mad, you just say he's under my feet. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Under my feet. Oh, because when you do good, under my feet. Evil is always present. Under my feet. And you got to learn how to use your weapon. Under my feet. Oh, because there's life or death oh, yeah. in the tongue. Under my feet. So whatever you speak, that's what it's going to come looking under for you. If you yeah. say I'm weak, you're going to be weak. If you say I'm poor, then you're going to be what? Under my feet. But the Bible says, under my feet. Now let the weak say I am strong. Under my feet. The Bible okay. says, under my feet. Let the poor say I am rich. Under my feet. Because greater is he. Under my feet. Because greater is he. Under my feet. Greater is he, yeah. Under my feet. Now come on to give him glory. Yeah. Hallelujah, worship him. Come on to give him glory. Greater is he. Greater is he. Greater is he. That's in me than he that is in the world. The devil is under my feet. The devil is under my feet. The devil is under my feet. I dare you declare a decree right now that no weapon formed against you is going to prosper. No weapon. No weapon. No weapon. Not no cancer. Not no diabetes. Not no suicide. Not no drug addiction. No weapon. All over the house. Just get something on your lips. Come on, get something on your lips all over the room. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Oh, 
bring you to it. He'll surely bring you through it. Can I get a witness all over the house that's not tired? You gotta give God glory for what he's done and what he's already getting ready to do. I wish I had some victorious saints in the room that can say that God is gonna do in spite of what it looks like, in spite of how it feels, in spite of the circumstances. God will come through. 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 No weapon. No weapon. Now come on, give him glory, let the band play. I can't praise him for you. I can't worship him for you. But when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for me, I gotta give him glory because I know he's gonna step right in. It just won't work. 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 It won't. It won't. It won't. It just won't work. It won't. It won't. It won't. It just won't work. It won't. It won't. It won't. It just won't work. It won't. It won't. God will do. God will do what he said he would do. He will stand by his word. He will come through. God will do what he said he would do. He will stand by his word. He will come through. He will come through. Now come on to give him glory right there. Come on and give him glory. Come on, yes he will. I heard it. It's in the room. There's a yes he will in the room. Is there anybody that's willing to say yes he will? I might be hurting, but yes he will. My heart may be broken, but yes he will. Because the potter wants to put you back together again. Is there anybody that say I want to be mended? I want to be put back together again. Well, if that's you, open up your mouth and give God the glory. Give him the glory. Oh, yeah. He will do it. He's going to 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 do it. I tried to end the song about five times. But the Holy Spirit said, he's going to do it. 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 Somebody said he do it too much. But there's somebody that still needs to know that he's going to do it. 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 He's gonna 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 do it. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I should fear no evil because he's gonna do it. You ain't got to know how to sing to say, he's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. How dare you testify it. with your neighbor and say, I know he will. I know he will. I know he will. I know he will. Know he will. Hey. Because if he did it for Daniel and the lions did, oh, yeah. the three Hebrew boys and the fiery furnace, I know he's gonna do it. I know he will. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, you will. It says, "Come on in where the table is spread, and the feast of the Lord 
Anybody ever been, see, he already where I'm going. Anybody ever been to a buffet and you just came and sat down? No, because you paid to get in there. But look, your trials is your payment. The things that you're going through is your payment. I dare you come on into the buffet room and grab you a plate and sit down at the table with him. I'm going to give you 30 seconds to give God praise. Everybody clap your hands. Oh, thank you, Lord, for all you've done for me. Oh, thank you, Lord, for all you've done for me. You've done for me. Say it. Oh. But when you say me, I want you to go into your best dance. You ain't got to do it like me because it took me a while to get it. And I definitely don't shout like him. But I'm going to give God the best I got. Here we go. Oh, thank you, Lord, for all you've done for me. You've done for me. Everybody.
somebody say, go on, Carla, go, go. Because I thought about something else. When he saved me, when I couldn't save myself, is there anybody in the room? That's why I said go. Because you give me a little time to think. I got the praise of him. Because he's been just that good. You're looking at a COVID survivor two times. Millions didn't make it. But look around. There's hundreds in the room that did. I'm done. I can't get tired because he didn't get tired. I can't give up because he didn't give up. Good morning, New Direction. Good morning, New Direction. <laughs> One more time. Good morning, New Direction. Giving honor to God. Respect to my pastor, to you, my brothers and sisters in Christ. It's good to see you all this morning. Let's give it up for our praise team this morning. Let's give it up for our band this morning. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Ain't no church like New Direction. I'd like to start by welcoming any visitors we may have visiting with us this morning. If we have any visitors, and I know we have visitors because I see some unfamiliar faces, would you please stand and remain standing so we can welcome you here this morning? Come on, visitors, please stand up. Let's give it up for our visitors this morning. On behalf of Pastor Williams, First Lady Williams, and the New Direction family, we'd like to welcome you here today to worship with us and let you know if you do not have a church home, you are welcome here at New Direction. Amen. Let's give it up for our visitors. It's good to have visitors. All right, we are into a new month. So... Happy birthday to anybody who has a birthday in the month of April. Do we have any birthdays? Where are April birthday people at? So happy birthday to everybody that is celebrating a birthday or any other thing in the month of April. Amen? All right. I am going to get into these announcements, all right? This Friday, April 7th, is our Good Friday service here at New Direction at 12 p.m. Our pastor has put together a great lineup of pastors to bring forth the word. So if you are able to come out, please come out. That is this Friday at 12 p.m. here at New Direction. Then that evening at 6 p.m. at Jeremiah Missionary Baptist Church. That address is 4519 West Villard Avenue. 
A second Good Friday service will take place called The Seven Last Words with Seven First Ladies, where our own First Lady Williams will be one of the guest speakers, along with six more phenomenal First Ladies. I don't know if you guys have seen that lineup, but woo, let me tell you. It is fire, so you don't want to miss it, okay? So that is going to be 6 p.m. at Jeremiah Missionary Baptist, Fir Baptist Church. Seven First Ladies uh, will be giving us seven words. Amen? All right. This coming Sunday is Easter Sunday, and we'll be having a sunrise service here at New Direction, get this, starting at 6 a.m. Yeah. Right. 6 a.m., all right? Let's give it up for our sunrise service, 6 a.m. They said Jesus rose early on Sunday morning, so 6 a.m. it is, okay? Get the frogs out your throat. <laughs> so 6 a.m., our sunrise service. So listen up. We're going to be fellowshipping with Holy Temple Firstborn, Jeremiah, and One Touch Ministries. So you don't want to miss our Easter service, okay? Amen? Okay, so 6 a.m., so come on out. And then um, at 11 a.m., on Easter Sunday here at New Direction, the children will be putting on an Easter program. So if you can come back out for that, please come back out and support our youth. Amen? All right. We have children's church this morning down in the lower level for ages 4 to 10. So if you have children who you want to send down to children's church, our children's church is wonderful. They do wonderful things. They learn about the Lord. So they are able to go downstairs this morning in the lower level for children's church. Bible class. Bible class is back this Wednesday at 6 p.m. And guess what? It's going to be here at New Direction. So we won't be online anymore. We're going to be coming back here for Bible class on Wednesday at 6 p.m. Uh, our pastor is a great teacher. We have the best topics. Who was uh, in Bible class last week? It was good, wasn't it? It was really, 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 really good. <laughs> so don't forget, Bible class is on Wednesdays. Now it is going to be back here at 6 p.m at New Direction, all right? Sunday school starts at 8 a.m. on Sunday mornings. Let's get up for Sunday school. Please come out to Sunday school. Let's give it up for Sunday school in the morning, all right? Uh, we have some phenomenal teachers, and we also have Sunday school in the lower level for our youth. So please come out to Sunday school on Sunday mornings at, at 8 a.m. Uh, baptism today. Let's get up for baptism. We are having baptism today in the lower level, immediately following service. So if you can stay, let's go down and support our candidates for baptism. Amen? Amen. All right. So, so listen. <clears throat> we all know that we have a fantastic first lady, right? Don't we know that? Don't we know we got a fantastic first lady? But did you also know that she is a fantastic K-4 teacher? Did y'all know that she was a fantastic K-4 teacher? I know that she has um, taught a lot of your children here. And she's such a wonderful teacher that she has been named Teacher of the Year at Milwaukee College Prep Lola Row Campus. Let's give it up for our First Lady. Let's stand up and give her a hand. Teacher of the Year. Woo -hoo. Congratulations, Lady J. We are so proud of you. Is this, is this the first time you've been? Wow, I can't even believe it. She's been a phenomenal teacher for so many years. I can't believe that this is the first time, but that is such an honor to be named Teacher of the Year. Let's give it up for our phenomenal First Lady once again. So very proud of her. Okay, my quote for today. Don't exhaust yourself trying to force something to happen when you could be resting and trusting in what God will make happen. You can make an effort, but God can always make a way. You guys have a wonderful week. Let the church say amen. Let the church say amen again. Can we give God one more hand clap of praise and appreciation? 
and we give this we my 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 did y'all hear all that harmony you couldn't identify any individual I can hear the Clark sisters mama saying one voice one voice I'm just so proud of them give them one more hand clap if y'all don't mind y'all amazing y'all amazing fam you hear me y'all the truth listen Listen, we're going to have to cut an album. I'm telling you, we're going to have to cut an album. An album. You hear me? Listen, real quick, I just want to reiterate. Need you here at 6 a.m. We will not be here at 9. High five your neighbor. Tell them we ain't going to be here at 9 next week. We're we going to be out of here. About 7.30, we're going to be out of here. So please. It is, it is the black church custom to get up early on Sunday morning because he got up early on Sunday morning. Amen? So come on, get up with us. You may have to iron the night before. You may have to readjust your alarm clock. Um, listen, don't you miss it. I want you to be here. You already know um, we're going to have a phenomenal time in the Lord. 6 a.m., to about 7.30, we in and out. You know us. We're we not Lutherans, but we kind of keep the Lutheran time. Is that all right? Is that all right? 6 a.m. to about 7.30. You are in, the, um, in for a treat, too, because this is our four-church fellowship, all right? It's our four-church fellowship. Now, the other churches, they still have um, their regular service to do. So give God praise for your church. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. That, so, so, so this fellowship service is not in addition to a service, but it is in place of our service. Um, so, so next Sunday, um, your, your treat too will be you get to hear from four preachers, but we are just going to share one point. Is that all right? Is that all right? Amen. Give God praise for that. Give God praise for that. We get to hear... Russell, we get to hear Burnside, Olafine, and myself. Um, just one point each. Is that all right? So we're gonna have a good time in the Lord. I want you to be here, and then we're gonna. Then you'll be the first at the restaurant to get your breakfast. Be the first at the restaurant. You can go on and get a quick nap in, and I want you to come back at eleven for our children's Easter speeches. Is that all right? I heard. Is it all right? Let me get a few more claps than that. Is, all right. Let's come out and support our children. Let's come out and support our nieces, our nephews, our godchildren, our grandbabies. Even if you ain't got no kids, I want you to come out and support these kids. Because somebody listened to you when you was four years old up there stuttering and whatnot. Amen. Amen. And then really quickly on Good Friday, I want you to. I hang out with us the whole day. Just one service at noon right here at New Direction um, where I'll be preaching. And then also at 6 p.m. at Jeremiah Missionary Baptist Church where our very own Lady J will be sharing a word. And our very own Lady Brown will be sharing a word. We're so excited. We're so excited. So excited. It's a powerful lineup. Listen. Don't you miss that one. I'm excited. I'm excited about that. It's some phenomenal um, first ladies, Lady Monk, Lady Oliphant, Lady Williams, um, the other Lady Williams. Listen, it's just the list goes on and on. You are going to be blessed. And that is it. Um, lastly, I do want to be remind you, remind you of our first in-person Bible class, first in-person Bible class, 6 p.m. If you want to meet us here at 5 for prayer, we're, it'll be open for prayer from five to six Bible classes from six to seven. And then when you get home, the sun will still be out where you can pull up in your garage safely. Is that all right? All right. We want to close out our Bible school year strong. So we want to do that with your presence. We always go to about mid-June and then we're out 
for summer break, give you an opportunity to take a break to get your vacations in. We're out from mid-July till about uh, mid-August. So when the kids go back to school, that's when we go back to school. Give yourself a hand for Vacation Bible School. <laughs> Amen. There are some churches that never take a break, and I get it. You always want to stand your word, but I don't want to take up every Wednesday of your life for the rest of your life. Is that all right? Yeah. All right. So, so I want you to re relax, and then I'm done. Lastly, um, this is our opportunity to worship God and our giving. I don't want you to miss your blessing. The Bible says, will a man rob God? And the truth is, we really don't rob God, but we rob ourselves of an opportunity to be blessed. He says, if you trust him and try him with your tithes and your offering, God is so faithful, so good that he will open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that you don't have room enough to receive. I want you to try him this year. So many of us are not tithers yet. And still, God has been able um, to bless our church tremendously just with the faithful minority, just what will happen if you will get involved. Once again, touch your neighbor. Tell him, I want you to tithe this year. I want you to tithe this year. Um, God has been blessing um, a lot of you while you haven't been tithing. And then some of you wonder why you haven't been blessed. Could it be? Because you haven't been tithing. So I want you to uh, become a tither this year. I want you to be blessed. I don't know about you, but I want everything that God has for me. Amen. And I don't want to be the reason um, that I'm not blessed. All right. So grab your phones on Cash App. It's dollar sign NDCC Milwaukee. Again, on Cash App, it's dollar sign NDCC Milwaukee. On GiveLify, it's New Direction Christian Church. Everyone, let us stand at this time. You are under the directions of our ushers. like to thank the ushers for doing an awesome job. <laughs> Pastor wanted me to let you guys know, just in case you forgot, the offering to give is $25, and we thank you for that. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we just want to say thank you 
Lord, we worship you and we love you today. We thank you for everything that you're doing for New Direction. Lord, I, we ask that you will bless the offering a hundredfold. Everyone that was able to give and maybe they wasn't able to give. We ask that no home will go lacking in the mighty name of Jesus. We give you all the honor and all the glory. Amen. My hallelujah belongs to you. My hallelujah belongs to you. All over the room, help me say my. My hallelujah. Come on, say, you deserve it, say. You deserve it. Deserve it. You 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 deserve it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're my 
He deserves all the glory, all the honor, all the praise. You ain't trying to get no shine. You're not trying to get no attention. You know he deserves it. I dare you just give him a wave offering and just tell him, Lord, I thank you. I can't hear nobody. Tell him, Lord, you deserve it. All of the honor, all of the glory, all of the credit. Lord, I can't help but tell you thank you for every meal you fed me for every time you healed me for every valley you walked me through for every mountain you moved for every check you sent for every prayer you answered I dare you give him glory 
I heard KP said the devil is under my feet. I know you got bills over your head, debt over your head, problems over your head, but hallelujah, the devil is under your feet. You ought to give God some praise in this place in advance for what he's about to do in your life. Stand. Let us stand all over this place. Let us stand. Let us stand. Turn to 1 Kings 18, 30 through 39. 1 Kings 18, 30 through 39. Once again, 1 Kings, if you are watching virtually, 1 Kings 18, 30 through 39. We're in the midst of greatness today. We have um, someone who is running for the MPS school board, district number one, Dr. Hendricks Reeves. Can we give God some praise for her presence today? Bless you, bless you. If you don't mind sticking around. Oh, bless you, bless you, bless you. We want to we wanna hear from you. Amen. We certainly value our vote in this place and vote our values. First King, First Kings 18, 30 through 39. When you found it, say amen. Once again, 1 Kings 18, 30 through 39. Then Elijah said to all the people, come near to me. And all the people came near to him. And he repaired the altar of the Lord that had been thrown down. Elijah took 12 stones according to the number of the tribes of the sons of Jacob to whom the word of the Lord came, saying, Israel shall be your name. And with the stones he built an altar in the name of the Lord. And he made a trench about the altar as great as what contained two seas of seed. And he put the wood in order and cut the bull in pieces and laid it on the wood. And he said, fill four jars with water and pour it on the burnt offering and on the wood. And he said, do it a second time. And they did it a second time. And he said, do it a third time. One for the father, two for the son, three for the Holy Ghost. They did it a third time. And the water ran around the altar and filled the trench also with water. And at that time of the offering of the oblation, Elijah the prophet came near and said, O oh Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, let it be known this day that you are God in Israel, and I am your servant, that I have done all these things at your word. Answer me, O oh Lord, answer me, that this people may know that you, O oh Lord, are God, and that you have turned their hearts back. Then the fire of the Lord fell and consumed the burnt offering and the wood and the stones and the dust and licked up the water that was in the trench. Touch your neighbor, tell him God is just showing off when he licked up the water. When all the people saw it, they fell on their faces and said, the Lord, he is God. The Lord, he is God. I want to use for a subject just for a few minutes for my Easter speech, altered by the altar. Touch your neighbor. Just ask him, have you been altered by the altar? In our text this morning, Elijah has enough faith to believe, church, 
that wet wood still burns. Elijah has the audacity to hope uh, that God can do anything but fail. Elijah has the nerve to believe God. Elijah has the sense to take God at his word. Elijah has the confidence and courage to trust God despite the facts, despite logic, despite reason, despite the data, despite how things look, despite what he sees, despite how he feels. I'm no outdoorsman, church, but I have watched enough seasons of Survivor to know that wet wood church is not supposed to burn I have seen enough episodes I have been watched enough survivors and enough people saw them trembling in the rain frustrated trying to rub wet sticks together in a desperate attempt to make fire but to no avail but with no results all for nothing but this text is proof church that wet wood still burns and I wonder this morning, just what is under water in your life? Just what are you drowning in? Just what are you covered with? Just what are you submerged under? Regardless of what you are up against, you have to believe God for the impossible. You have to believe God for the unbelievable. You have to believe God for the unheard of. You have to believe God for the unimaginable. You have to believe God for the unthinkable. After all, God is able to do exceeding and abundantly above that which you could think or imagine maybe your job is wet wood maybe your dreams are wet wood maybe your relationship is wet wood maybe your marriage is wet wood maybe your health is wet wood maybe your finances are wet wood maybe your dreams and hopes are wet wood maybe your past is wet wood maybe your accomplishments are wet wood maybe your education is wet wood maybe your family matters are wet wood well church you got to believe that wet wood still burns. I dare you high five your neighbor. Tell him God can still do it. Tell him God can still do it. I know the facts are not on your side. I know the data is not on your side. I know past is not on your side, but it can still happen in your life. My Bible says with man, it's impossible, but with God, all things are possible. Church in the Greek, all means all. In Hebrew, all means all. In Aramaic, all means all in latin all means all in swahili all means all in german all means all in french all means all in english all means all and god can fix it all god can mend it all god can heal it all god can solve it all god can do it all god can answer it all i wish i had somebody here that can believe god that he can resurrect it all that he can bless it all that he can touch it all that he can do it all high five your neighbor tell him he can still do it in your life high five somebody else tell him I believe that wet wood still burns this text is also a reminder that there are some things in your life that you have to let burn on the altar. In our text, Elijah makes a sacrifice to the Lord on the altar. And the truth is, most of us do a great job of bringing our sacrifices to the altar, but we do a terrible job of leaving them there. Lord, have mercy. We grab our bad habits back off the altar, 
Just before they turn to ashes, we grab our idols off the altar while they are still burning. We grab our bad habits off the altar while they are still hot. We grab our addictions. We grab our obsessions. We grab our cravings. We grab our lust just before they become dust, just before they disintegrate, just before they turn into smoke, just before they disappear. We grab them off the altar trying to blow the fire out I wish I had some help in this place trying to clean off the ashes trying to blow off the dust in a desperate attempt to hold on to our weaknesses in a desperate attempt to hold on to our issues in a desperate attempt to hold on to our failures and to hold on to our idols but church what you have to do is drop it somebody help me like it's hot I ain't Snoop Dogg, but I need you, church, to high-five your neighbor. Encourage them. Tell them you got to drop it like it's hot. I wish I had a few people in the middle of this sermon that can take a praise break with me and pray to God out loud. Say, Lord, help me drop it like it's hot sometimes we'd rather have what makes us cry sometimes we'd rather have what's not good for us sometimes we'd rather have what will kill us in the end sometimes we'd rather have what is lord have mercy what is not good for us and so you gotta pray out to god lord help me put it down lord help me let it go lord help me turn away from it lord help me to walk away lord help me to turn around lord help i wish i had somebody here who was honest honest enough to say lord i need your strength lord i need your power lord i need your spirit lord i need your anointing lord i need you because i can't put it down by myself somebody how far somebody else tell them drop it like it's hot drop that addiction drop that issue drop that failure drop that regret drop that guilt drop that shame drop that bottle drop that drug drop that drink drop that weed somebody i wish i had somebody here drop those pills drop that medication drop those desires drop those thoughts drop it like it's hot i can't see nobody i wish i had about 10 more people just to get up your feet and say lord help me drop it lord help me drop it like it's hot Appreciate your time this morning. This text is also a reminder that regardless of your condition, you can still catch fire. See, in the text, the wood is in terrible condition. In the text, the wood is totally soggy. In the text, the wood is completely soaked. In the text, the wood is dripping and drenched. The Bible says they filled up those water pots not once, not twice, but three times. Drenched the wood so much so that it ran around the altar. Soaked up the sacrifice and the wood. But get this church, it still caught fire despite the horrible shape it was in. And church, I want you to know that you can catch fire again. Let me help you out. Despite your terrible shape, despite your horrible condition, you can love again. You can trust again. You can marry again. You can have joy again. You can have peace again. You can smile 
smile again. You can live again. You can laugh again. You can sing again. You can be healed again. You can be free again. You can be full again. He can bless you again. You can catch fire again. I know you've been in bad shape for a long time. I know you've been broke for a long time. I know you've been depressed for a long time. I know you've been in terrible condition for a long time that you don't think you can change, that you don't think things can turn around in your life, that you don't think you will ever experience a breakthrough, that you don't think miracles still happen. But my Bible says you can catch fire again. Can't you see Jeremiah? You remember that prophet Jeremiah? He said, I'm through preaching. I'm through working for God. I'm through serving him. But just before he quit, I wish I had some help in this place. The Bible says he said it was like fire shut up in my bones well Jeremiah why do you need fire on the inside Jeremiah says listen sometimes you need fire on the inside because you won't have no support and no help on the outside wish I had somebody here that says sometimes you gotta be like Paul told Timothy and stir up your own gift somebody high five your neighbor tell him I'm believing by faith that God is going to give you some fresh fire that God is going to give you a fresh anointing that God is going to give you a fresh spirit and fresh strength and new life God is going to turn it around for you come here Hebrew boys you remember the Hebrew boys the Bible says says they survived the fire on the outside because they had a fire that was hotter on the inside. I wish I had somebody here who still believes that you can catch fire again. High five your neighbor. They didn't believe you. Touch them right now and tell them you can catch fire again. You can love again. You can laugh again. You can be healed again. God can do it again if he did it before wish I had somebody here he can do it again in our text the fire falls from heaven because Elijah fell down to the earth Satan wants to limit your prayers because he knows your prayers, church, will limit him. Now let me say it again. Thank you, Sasha. Uh, Satan wants you to limit your prayers because he knows your prayers will limit him. And so this text is really a call to fall. Lord have mercy. It's a call to fall down in prayer. It's a call to fall down in worship. It's a call to fall down in praise. It's a call to fall down in submission. It's a call to fall down in adoration. It's a call to call down in humility. It's a call to fall down in lowliness. It's a fall to call down in obedience. I wish I had somebody here that would say I can't limit God with a limited prayer life and you got to take the brakes off of God and fall down on your knees limited prayers limit God Lord have mercy your doubt limits God your anxieties limit God your worries limit God your fears limit God Lord have mercy don't you limit God to the size of your wallet don't you limit God Lord have mercy to your diagnosis don't you limit God to your past don't you limit God to your budget don't you limit God based on your failures don't you limit God to your education don't you limit God to your weaknesses don't you limit God to your skills don't you limit God to your abilities don't you limit God to your talents I wish I had somebody here that could just high five your neighbor tell him you better take the brakes off of God don't you limit God but your stinginess limits God your arrogance limits God your bad attitude limits God your pettiness limits God I wish I had somebody here your selfishness limits God your disobedience limits God your wicked ways limits God and you better take the bricks off of God I wish I had somebody here that says I'm taking the bricks off of God I will not limit God in my life the Bible says because of unbelief 
because of doubt he was unable to do miracles in his own hometown you remember Nazareth no lame man was healed in Lazarus no blind man walked in Lazarus nobody was made whole in Nazareth no lepers were cleansed in Lazarus no lame man talked in in Lazarus no mute man shouted in Lazarus nobody received their sight in Nazareth but I don't know about you but sometimes I gotta pray Lord help my unbelief help me to trust you help me to take you at your word help me to believe that still no weapon formed against me shall prosper help me to believe that he who is in me is greater than he who is in the world help me to believe that the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord and although he falls he shall not be utterly cast down for the Lord upholds him with his hands help me to believe that your grace is still sufficient help me to believe that if God be for me who can be against me help me to believe that the Lord is my light and my salvation whom shall I fear the Lord is the strength of my life of whom shall I be afraid help me to believe that you anoint my head with oil and my cups still runs over help me to believe that although I walk through the valley of the shadow of death I will fear no evil for thou art with me his rod and his staff they comfort me help me to believe that in spite of what I'm going through that you are still my shepherd still my shield still my guard and guide still my help still my lily in the valley still my rose of Sharon still my walking cane still my way out of nowhere high five your neighbor tell him take the brakes off of God do you still believe I wish I had somebody here you remember that woman who was been over for 18 years the Bible says she went to church all the time 18 years went to church on a regular basis still been over 18 years Lord have mercy and I'm talking to some people just like her you go to church all the time but your walk ain't right Lord have mercy I'm telling you right now just like that woman you can get loose today you can be healed today you can be free today you can be delivered today you can be changed today you can be free from that chain free from that bondage free from that addiction free from that issue free from that burden high five your neighbor tell them you can get loose today loose from that trauma loose from that issue loose from that worry loose from that problem loose from that pit loose from those chains loose from those shackles high five your neighbor tell them you better get loose Let me let you get out of here. Elijah puts the wood in order. Cut the bull in pieces. Laid it on the wood. Let me say that again. I'll be out your way. Elijah cut the bull in pieces. Laid it on the wood. Let me try to bring it home to you. The bull came to the altar in pieces. And I'm talking to somebody here who came to the altar today in pieces. I mean, that's all you got, a piece of strength, uh, a piece of joy, uh, a piece of peace, a uh, piece of a job, a uh, piece of check. I wish I had somebody here, but you also got a piece of pettiness. I wish a piece of selfishness, a piece of anger, a piece of being controlling, a piece of stubbornness. I wish I had some honest folk here that these are all the pieces of me. Wish I had somebody here that said, I ain't got it all together, but I'm so glad you can come to the altar in pieces. Lord have mercy. I know right now you are still thinking about Elijah's bull, but hallelujah, God too accepts your bull. Yeah, they gonna make me cuss. Somebody help me in this place. Hallelujah, that you got a God that accepts your bull.
I wish I had some honest folk here. I know you're thinking about his bull, but right now you need to think about your bull, your iniquities, your sins, your wickedness, your wrongs, your transgressions, your failures, your faults, your flaws. Well, listen, if you can't shout over your bull, maybe you can shout over the lamb. That's that other animal. Now behold the lamb the precious lamb of God born into sin that I may live again the precious lamb of God the songwriter put it this way they lifted him high stretched him wide he hung his head for me he died I wish I had somebody here that can be thankful for the lamb this morning I don't know about you but let me tell you there is no greater love I'm through there is no greater joy. There is no greater sacrifice. Hallelujah for the Lamb. I wish I had somebody that would give him praise this morning and shout, Lord, I thank you for accepting my bull. Thank you for the Lamb. Thank you that you brought me. I came in pieces, but I left whole. I came in pieces, but I left full. I came in pieces, but I left healed. I came in pieces, but I left better. I came in pieces, but I left changed. Hallelujah for the Lamb. Can I get somebody, anybody, to say, Lord, I thank you for the Lamb. Thank you for your blood. Thank you for your mercy. Hallelujah. Somebody help me shout. Shout yeah. Shout yeah. Shout yeah. Shout yeah. Shout yeah. Do you know he's worthy? Do you know he's awesome? I dare you. I dare you. Give him glory. I dare you. Give him praise. I dare you. Give him honor. Since this is spiritual warfare. I dare you let out a war cry. Somebody help me. Oh. I can't hear nobody.
If you know he laid your sins on the wood, if he laid your failures on the wood, if he laid your past on the wood, just say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Listen. What I want you to do now, if you don't mind, just meet me at the altar. Just meet me at the altar. Thank you, Lord. Just meet me at the altar. That's what we come to. Leave your trouble there. Leave your burdens here. Leave your sickness here. You won't falter if you can make it to the altar. You may not even be coming for yourself, but you may be coming for somebody else. I dare you come Meet me at the altar. Every head bowed, every eye closed. Lord, first of all, we pause and tell you thank you. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your blood. You've been so good. And we haven't deserved it, Lord. You've been so faithful. You've been so kind. And we can't help but to give you glory. We can't help but to give you praise. We can't help but to magnify your holy name. Lord, we come to the altar in pieces. And we throw ourselves at your feet. We've come to the altar in pieces. And we throw ourselves in your hands. We've come to the altar in pieces. And we throw ourselves at your mercy. Lord, give us deliverance power. Help us to avoid what we ought to. Help us to ignore what we should. Help us to put away what we have to. Help us to turn away from what we need to turn away from. Deliver us even now. For we understand who the Son sets free. is free indeed. Lord, I'm praying, Father, that you give us the strength to quit, the strength to stop, the courage to surrender, the desire to obey you. Change our hearts, change our minds, change our ways, change our habits, change our attitudes. Give us the discipline to do what you have called us to do. Lord, and we're calling for healing right now, Father. Someone is sick among us. Someone is hurting even now. Someone is in pain even now. Head trauma, headaches, Lord, heal. Heartache, Lord, heal. Trouble in their, with their indigestion, heal. Trouble with their breathing, heal. Trouble with their lungs, heal. Trouble with their head, heal. Trouble in their back, heal. Trouble in their feet, heal. Regulate even now, Father. Take away it everything, Lord. For we still know you are the doctor who made every doctor. We still know that you have more medicine in your him. We still believe that you can fix it all, heal it all, mend it all, restore it all, save it all. And we give you the honor. We give you the glory. Touch every child represented here. Touch every mother here. Every father here. Every son here. Every daughter here. Every family here Lord and we give you praise for the blessings that are on their way we give you praise for the healing that's coming we give you praise for the strength that's here we give you praise for the anointing that's fallen we give you praise for what you have done we give you praise for what you are doing we give you praise for what's about to happen in the mighty in the majestic name of Jesus somebody tell them thank you somebody shout hallelujah Give them a dance in advance, a praise already, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hug somebody on the way back to your seat.
Let the church say amen. Let the church say amen again. So just real quickly, if you don't mind standing with me real quick, we want to extend the invitation to discipleship. There may be someone here that wants to accept Jesus the Christ as their Lord and Savior. This is your chance. This is your opportunity. We just came to the altar for prayer, but now you can come for salvation and restoration. Hallelujah. 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 Look at God. Hallelujah. Look at God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. There's still room. There's still time. Life is too short. The judgment is too dreadful. Death is too certain. Accept Christ before it's too late. Amen. Listen, give God some praise.
truly the Holy Spirit that's just rested in this sanctuary on today. Pastor, listen, I'm at the, we're going to have to talk later. I almost did a lap around this sanctuary on today. I still might. Church ain't over yet. Y'all give my knee a minute to recoup, and I'm be running around here. Pastor, thank you for blessing us again. Thank you for lifting up our spirits, Pastor. You don't know what you do for so many people week after week, and we thankful to God for an amazing pastor who listens to the Lord, who is obedient to the Lord, and submits to the Lord, and we thank God for giving you a word, and we thank God that we can leave better than when we came. We thank God for the souls that have decided to make New Direction Christian Church their church home. They've all been baptized and they want to make New Direction Christian Church their church home. We have, I'm going to ask them their names again because I forgot. Okay, we have Tyangela. And Tyangela is the niece to, what's your name? Serena. Serena. Stand up. Okay, right there. That's, this is her niece, and so she wants to make New Direction Christian Church her church home. And then we have Nicole Casey. I got the last name right, right? Yes. This is Sister Casey's cousin. And she is, and she, oh, Andy Angelo? Oh, Andy Angelo Jones is her cousin. D'Angelo got on some tennis shoes today. I see you, D'Angelo. All right. All right. Got you, got your Jordans on. And, um, and she's coming from great faith, Pastor. Coming from great faith. But she now wants to make New Direction Christian Church her church home. Amen. Amen. And then we have Sister Juanita. All right. Okay. And Juanita lives around the corner, Pastor. And she is from New Orleans. She just got here two months ago from New Orleans. She lives around the corner and she walked here and she wants to make New Direction Christian Church her church home. Amen. And before she left New Orleans, she got baptized. So she don't need to be baptized again, she said, but she want to make this her church home. And Juanita, we thank you for taking a walk today. <laughs> and she want to make New Direction Christian Church her church home. So give it up for all these beautiful ladies that are joining with us on today. They're going to go with our clerk, Tasha. Amen, amen. Let's give God a hand for growth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank God for growth. Let us stand all over this place as we prepare for communion. I haven't forgot about you. All right. <clears throat> I appreciate your patience with us. We'll be heading out of here in about 10 minutes. Just be patient, all right? Thank you. Um, Mark 14, 22 through 25. Where are my deacons at? Come on, deacons. I need you. Again, Mark 14, 22 through 25. Simply reads, and as they were eating... Jesus took bread and after blessing it, broke it and gave it to them and said, take this is my body. And he took a cup and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and they drank of it. And he said to them, this is my blood of the new covenant, which is poured out for many. Truly, I say to you, I will not drink again of the fruit of the vine until that day. When I drink it anew in the kingdom of God, may God bless you, the hearers, readers, and doers of his holy word. Let us bow and whisper a prayer. Lord, we thank you for being our sacrifice and our substitute. Lord, even now, forgive us of our sins. Even now, forgive us of our trespasses as we forgive those who trespassed against us. Fix our hearts, Lord, creating us a clean heart, renewing us a right spirit. For you told us in your word that if we drink this unworthily, that we'll be drinking damnation to our own souls. And so, Lord, fix our hearts and our minds so that in your own way we can become worthy. Lord, we thank you. 
for what you did on Calvary. You died for us and you died as us. Thank you for your bread. Thank you for your blood. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. From at this time to ask the ushers to dismiss us from where we are. Come around. Let us commune together. Just wave at me if you haven't been served. Just wave at me if you haven't been served. All right. Let us stand so we can commune together. Wave your hand if you need to be served still. Got, I got a couple people, our new members. Our new members. Come on. Digging Brown, you see her back there in a the white shirt. There we go. There go my, my boo right there. Wave your hand again at me if you still need to be served. Thank you, thank you. If your thumb's gotten away, you need some help, open it. Wave your hand at me, we're going to send somebody to you. All right. All right. Let us hold up the bread together. Just repeat after me. This is the bread that symbolizes the body of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, that was broken for me. Let us eat together. Say thank you, Lord. Hold up the fruit of the vine. Repeat after me. This is the fruit of the vine which symbolizes the blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, that he shed for us. Say thank you for the blood. Let us drink to God. And our deacons are going to come around.
Amen. Can we give God some praise in this place? Amen. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for your patience. It is our custom that we typically have our representatives and our politicians speak right at announcements. For some reason, it just skipped my mind, so my apologies. But she's going to speak just for five minutes, and then we're going to be going down from this place. Can we give her a hand as she comes? Good morning. I rise, first of all, giving honor to God, who is certainly the head of my life. To your wonderful pastor, to my own pastor, Bishop Hawkins from the Church of Living God, 3649 North Tetonia Avenue. As I walked in here, and your minister of music, I don't know where he went, but it's important for you all to know that I'm a preacher's daughter. When my dad was pastor of Church of Living God on Tetonia, and uh, Bishop Hayes was the pastor here. I was the choir director, and I directed right there. <laughs> and so I have, and you're not, you're not getting ready to get a politician's speech. I'm sorry. No, I'm not sorry. But when I walked in today, I had no idea that my cup would be filled the way it has been. <laughs> The music ministry, oh my God, it wasn't just me, but I know God sent a word through him. Because I know I never would have made it. I know everything that people espouse about me, my achievements, the glory is to nobody but God. Pastor, when you talked about that wet wood, our school system is drenched. And I am calling on you all to stand for our kids and let's set this city on fire. Yeah. Our kids are suffering. They're morally corrupt. They're intellectually bankrupt. And they are educationally, educationally disrupted. And we have to disrupt the disruption. And the only person who is going to deliver our children and our community is God. This isn't me. This is my calling. I was called into the field of education because I'm the parent of two children. And one of, my son, one of my children, my son, had multiple severe disabilities. He was given a life expectancy of eight. I just buried my son in September of last year at the age of 33. Don't tell me what God won't do. My friend right here, one of the first people that I met when I moved to Milwaukee, Carla, we have been friends for 40 years. I thank God for you. You the sister I never had. Thank you. And I'm asking you all, Please, no matter how this election turns out, because I'm already a victor. I've already won. I don't care if I don't get the position. I've spoken my piece. I've delivered the message I needed to deliver. But I need you all to rise up and tell MPS we're not going to tolerate this. Tell our charter schools, our choice schools, our public schools, you're not going to fail our kids. It's time for us to pray and fight. Thank you. Hallelujah. Let's stand all over this place. Can you tell us your name one more time? It's, it's all right. Shondalyn Hendricks Reeves. All right. All right. Listen, you got my vote. Listen, you got my vote. You got my vote. Amen. <laughs> Period. Listen, she's the saved woman of God. That's who we need. Amen. Some saved people in high places. Amen. First lady, come on, dismiss us here. Dismiss us here. Thank you all for your patience again. This is Baptist time today, but we're going to be back Lutheran next week. Amen. The teacher of the year is voting for you. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I too believe in the education of our children, and I fight hard every day to give all 500 of my kids, not just the 24 in my class, but all of my babies at school, what I know that they deserve. So the teacher of the year <laughs> is voting for you. Yeah. <laughs> I just have to say it twice. 
because I'm proud of myself. Listen, won't God do it? Yeah, won't God do it? Listen, you got to celebrate yourself sometimes. I've been teaching for 17 years. And so this is long overdue. And so I'm grateful. Listen, shout out to my mama who always pushed me to be better. So I'm just grateful on today for what God has done in this place. I'm grateful for the souls that he added to our church. And I'm grateful for just a kind and loving pastor who knows the Lord and preaches his heart out every week. Don't forget to join us for uh, communion down for baptism downstairs. And don't forget to join us Wednesday for Bible study. Pastor, you doing grown in the long part three or no? He said, why not? So make sure y'all here. Did y'all miss Bible class last week? Y'all don't want to miss it on this Wednesday in person at 6 p.m. So join us. And then don't forget, Good Friday uh, service is at noon here at New Direction. Father God, we thank you for the word that went forth on today, Father. We thank you, Father God, for just resting in the sanctuary with us, oh God. We thank you for your power that fell straight from heaven, Father. We thank you, oh God, that we are living better than when we came, God. We thank you for the sacrifice that you paid on Calvary's cross. We thank you for the blood that you shed for us, oh God. But we thank you for getting up on the third day with all power in your hand, oh God. And now that same power lives inside of us, God, as we depart from this place, but never from your presence, oh God. Give us traveling grace and let us be safe, oh God, until we meet again, until we come back in here again, oh God. Protect us all. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and thank you, God. Hug three people. Tell them I love you and you can't do nothing about it. Thank you for joining us today.